Yes, now it's point three inspiration of Lagos, your number one family radio station. Welcome to this Thursday edition of the Panelic Zone. My name is Leye Adudoju, and I am joined by Buddy Bruno and Gideon Keshi. And of course, this Thursday that means uh, it's Fantasy Thursday on the Premier League Zone. So feel free uh, to give us a call or maybe send us a message on WhatsApp and let us know how well you're performing and what you intend to do as uh, the Premier League uh, returns uh, this weekend. Of course, there was no football in the Premier League last weekend because of uh, the international break. But thankfully, uh, the league returns uh, this weekend and uh, some cracking matches on the menu, none bigger uh, than, uh, than Arsenal taking on Liverpool, although some might argue that Leicester City against Chelsea <laughs> may be the bigger clash. But uh, really good to have the Premier League back uh, this weekend. And by the time we return tomorrow for the Friday edition, we will be giving a more detailed preview uh, of uh, all of these uh, great matches that will be entertaining us all through uh, the weekend. So welcome again to the Premier League Zone. Uh, let's uh, remind you that you can watch the show live on Facebook. Uh, the Facebook handle is at Inspiration FM 92.3. Once again, uh, you can watch the Premier League Zone live on Facebook at Inspiration FM 92.3. You can also drop your comments on that platform. Uh, we will be taking as many messages as possible. So, uh, the different ways uh, through which you can reach us on the Premier League Zone uh, today, you can give us a call on 07009 I'll take that again. 07009 You can also uh, send us a message stage on facebook at inspiration fm 92.3 and on whatsapp you can reach us on 0817313 and uh, let's start um, by you know just uh, taking stock of the international break uh, let me start with gideon gideon um, did you enjoy the international break how happy are you to have the premier league uh, return to our screens this weekend I mean, I, let me. I enjoyed the international yeah. break. I, 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 I enjoyed it because I, I, I was, yeah, able, know, I was able to profit. <laughs> to profit. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, was, I was able to profit in more ways than one. Anyway, <laughs> so I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. So Gideon, tell us about the international break for you. How, how was it? I mean, who, who definitely did not enjoy the international break? I mean, it was just goals galore. We saw interesting um, football end to end from different teams. Um, to name a few, the Serbia Portugal game, mm. um, a host of fixtures. We saw goals galore coming from sides like England, um, getting nine, ten, mm. uh, also France. So that, there was just really, really a lot. Um, to be honest, it got to a point where that we did not really even miss club football, mm. if I dare say that. Mm. Um, but then it, it was a fantastic international window, to say the least. But then we are very excited to have club football very, um, you know what, ret- returning this weekend. And I mean, definitely i'm sure i want to see my club a lot of fans want to see their clubs you know what start um ensuring that their campaigns move up to you know what, a very very impressive um, performance so yes i'm definitely happy to have international I mean, club football back this weekend but, it, but it, do, 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 do you share gideon's sentiment uh, do, do, are you also of the opinion that we didn't really miss <laughs> miss the premier league uh, during the international break i i didn't really Really? Yes. Wow. For some reason, I think. Probably um, first time hearing all of that. Well, because <laughs> see, I, I think a lot of people actually actually enjoyed this international break. Yeah, because because of the, yeah, the quality of games and, 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 and yeah, 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 yeah. we come to the end. Lots of lot countries, yeah. you know, are at stake as well. So at the end of the day, uh, it's it's good to have the Premier League or the leagues back this weekend. But most importantly, uh, the Premier League. Uh, there's no distractions as regards the international break until yeah, and next year. So yeah. um, let's just enjoy. Uh, what the season has to offer. <laughs> All right, so, 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 Gideon, what, what exactly did you miss most about the Premier League? You know, what, what's it about the league that you miss most during the international break? Because it's the same football that all of them are yeah. playing. Whether yeah, it's yeah. Man U or it's Spain, it's the mm-hmm. same football. So, what is it about the Premier League that, that you know, gets the, the juices flowing? I mean, definitely, it's just the fact that, you know, we get to see different clubs have a mashup of different players mm. of varying nationalities. Yeah, to see um, players from all parts of the world in Africa, like, let's use Liverpool, for instance, now with the forward lineup, there's a Brazilian there, there's a Senegalese, and there's the Egyptian king himself, Mohamed Salah. So that's one thing we know we've missed with um, club football the diversity a lot of these big teams feel, and also the drama from the rivalries. Um, just before this international break, we saw the Manchester Derby. Yeah. Yes, it did not end well for a lot of Manchester United supporters, but Manchester City fans, I mean, came out of that the happier side. So that's, that's one thing we know that we always get from the EPL, not just the fact that we're seeing good football, we're seeing yeah. um, diversity, like I've mentioned before. And also, it's fantastic because the big teams will always be the big teams that have yeah. the biggest players. Manchester United, would, uh, yeah, they've not been doing so well. 
but I, I wouldn't even want to add them to that list currently. But Manchester City, Liverpool, Chelsea. Um, I mean, always just doing the business. But that's one thing definitely I've, I've come to miss. Yeah, and, and buddy, uh, as the league returns, uh, what are you most looking forward to? As uh, you know, like you said, no more international, you know, disturbance <laughs> <laughs> at least up until March next year. So, mm -hmm. what, what are you looking forward to seeing most as, as the league makes a return this weekend? Like, uh, most importantly, the the festive frenzy. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, that is when you know would. We'll, you know the, the men will be separated from the boys basically we will know okay, okay who is ready to go all the way to win the premier league so um can't wait december is just around the corner the mm -hmm. festivities are coming on uh pretty pretty soon so yeah. i'm looking forward to that madness you know oh. where you have like is it four games in, like yeah, 10 days yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're really looking forward to that all right so, so let me just quickly run through the fixtures as uh, the Premier League returns uh, this weekend, and uh, like I said, uh, some really wonderful matches on uh, the menu. Leicester against Chelsea, uh, they open things up at 1.30 on Saturday afternoon, and then we have Aston Villa against Brighton and Hove Albion. Burnley will take on Crystal Palace, Newcastle United up against uh, Brentford, uh, Eddie Howe taking charge of Newcastle uh, for the first time. Taking off, uh, speaking of Villa taking charge of the club for the first time, Dean Smith will also be in the dugout for Norwich uh, for the first time as they host uh, Southampton at Carroll Road. Manchester United travel to Watford uh, West Ham United will be the guest of uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers and Liverpool against Arsenal is uh, the late game on Saturday and then on Sunday uh, there is Man City uh, they take on Everton at uh, the ETF Stadium uh, while Tottenham Hotspur will be up against uh, Leeds United at uh, the Tottenham Hotspur uh, Stadium and like I said earlier I uh, will preview uh, the biggest matches uh, coming up this weekend on tomorrow's edition of the show so make sure you do not miss that but for now let's uh, move on very quickly Panthers Premier League time on uh, the Premier League zone and let's remind you that you should join uh, the Inspiration FM Fantasy Premier League uh, League that's the IFM Super League uh, the code is SKVLCC SKVLCC is the code uh, if you want to join a lot of people have already joined I think we have almost 500 people uh, in the league so make sure you also uh, throw your name into the hat because we'll be giving out some wonderful prizes all through uh, the season if you finish at top of the table at the end of the season I've been screaming this for like <laughs> four months now <laughs> if you haven't joined them <laughs> I can't help you <laughs> uh, if you finish top of the table you get 40,000 now if you're second uh, you get 25,000 and the price of third is uh, 15,000 and beyond that are uh, the monthly champions uh, if you finish top of the table at the end of every month uh, you will be rewarded uh, with uh, 5,000 naira so uh, if you haven't joined once again uh, the code uh, to join the IFM Super League is SKBLCC so Gideon it's been a while we heard from you as uh, regarding the Fantasy Premier League I know for a fact that you started very well I think after the first week you were like number four, number five, number six, and I was like, okay, this guy needs business. But hey, I haven't seen you anywhere near the top since then. What happened? How was it going? <laughs> Did Anthony bite you? <laughs> Life happened to me. Did Anthony bite you? <laughs> Life happened to be honest. Um, a couple of very, very poor mm. transfer decisions, um, coupled with the fact that at some point I began to neglect my team. Just so, so Why? Me, uh, which coach neglects his neglect team? I don't to know. To be honest, I, I, I was really, really disappointed with the way. Everything planned. I don't even know where I'm on the st current standing, and I really cannot stop laughing. Maybe yeah, because we are not giving in house prizes. Well, maybe, maybe. You know what? We'll, we'll get back bad, to you very shortly. Incentive. We'll get back to you very shortly, but let's uh, let's try to take a few calls and uh, hear what you guys are actually serious, what they are saying. Hello, good morning. Good morning, guys. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Fantasy Thursday on the Premier League Zone. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.